On this segment of Mountain Horse Minute, we're going to work on teaching a horse to step into the mounting block. And it's very simple to do, and you don't have to have a fancy arena to do it. All you have to have is a wall to start on, a crop and your bridle. So when we start teaching our horse to step in the mountain block, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we're standing in front of his shoulder so we don't want to confuse him to, when we go back to lunging our horse. And so we're going to take away all of his options except for the one we want. So we're going to have our horse stand up against the wall, and we're just going to take our crop here, and we're going to lightly tap this hip right here and lightly tap it. And this may take, you know, a little while. And as soon as he gives us anything, like right, I've never seen it take more than three days, so you gotta bear with me here. That right there is what we're looking for. Looking for one single step to the inside to get started. We release all the pressure. See him licking and chewing. He knows what he did right. So we're gonna give him a few seconds. We're gonna walk back down the wall. We're gonna start again. We're just gonna lightly tap right here. As Soon as he gets our correct step, we're gonna stop, release all our pressure, and let him know that he did a good job. And walk forward again, get him lined back up. We're just gonna tap on our horse. There we go. We're going to release all our pressure, let him stand here and know he did a good job. We need to keep getting our horse back square to the wall so that he knows what he's doing and taking the step in and we can reward it. And it's going to go back to this right here. As soon as he takes the step, we're going to release. This time, I'm not going to straighten him back up. I'm going to let him rest right here and I'm going to ask for another step in. I'm gonna do this right here. There it is, gotta get a little farther out. So this time, I'm not gonna stop asking until he gets almost vertical with me. We're gonna go right here. So even though he took that good step, I want one more. I want one more good step out of him. And I'm not going to stop there. One more step. Nope. I'm going to increase the pressure when it is wrong. There. There we go. So once our horse gets better at doing that coming down the wall, what we're gonna do is start working him away from the wall. But what we don't wanna do is open ourselves up to where he thinks he can go past us and do a lunge. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to remain up here in front of him like we did. And start getting his hip to work away from us. We're gonna start taking away the crutch of the wall and working away from it. We're gonna start coming farther. off the wall until we can get him to do it without even needing it. So once we get our horse where we don't have to tap them to get them to bring their hips to us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ditch our crop and start using our hands because we no longer have to touch him for him to bring his hips in. When teaching your horse this, all this really is is knowing the correct time to release pressure. When introducing the mounting block, I don't suggest getting on it the first time. I suggest walking up to it, letting him know it's there, and then having his hips step around so that it's clean and smooth and you're not getting in your own way. Because if you try to step up here holding the horse, you just mess up. And we want the first time he comes up here to do this to be smooth and non-scary to the horse. So when we approach the mounting block with our horse, we want to remember to 
come at the correct angle so that he can bring his hips around. If we just keep walking him up like he was, he's gonna go back to his old habits. So what I wanna do is walk my horse's nose to the corner of this mounting block. Whoop. Be able to get up here on it. Be able to bring his hips to right here. And if we just will keep walking him up sideways, what's gonna happen is he's gonna dribble out forward, he'll try to back away, he'll try to sidestep out of it. But this way, he already knows the drill, has a cue to do it, and it'll be much easier on you.